There's been a lot of changes down here at the Pike Place Market since 1972 when the voters of this city decided to buck to city administrations and the prevailing business sentiments in town and save this place. There's been a lot of emphasis in those years on the architecture. There's a lot more exposed brick, stained wood, and potted ferns. The Seattle Garden Center over here has sprouted a new roof, Art Deco a la Chinese. And down at the north end of the market, there's a new condominium, a 300-unit condo going in, which is going to range in prices from 100000 to 500000 Across the street on Western, there's a new athletic club going up. A lot of the old timers have left, and businesses have closed in the intervening years. The Stewart House, the Pioneer Workingmen's Hotel, has closed down. There used to be over 700 uh, low cost housing units for single room occupancy. We now have a little more than 100. But with all these changes, there are some things that remain the same. The Laurentis, the Italian groceries up from the basement and expanded quarters. And around the, uh, the corner from it, the spice shop, and down the arcade, the fish shops and the meat shops. And in reduced numbers, the farmers. But they're still there, still adding character and bringing an important element to this market. Much of what has happened down in the market in the last 10 years has gone about quietly. But there has been noisy and prolonged protest over a number of issues. When this condo went in, or was proposed to go in about a year and a half ago, a hundred people got up in a public meeting and denounced it, yet it went in. The latest controversy involves this modest string of storefronts over here, and especially the future of the liquor store. There are some city officials that don't believe the liquor store should be a long pike place, but the Liquor Control Board feels they have a constituency to serve here and are bound and determined to remain here. What its future will be is unclear right now. What was attempted in the market was a unique urban experiment. Pioneer Square proved we could save the buildings. What we wanted to do here was save the use. The problem was that there were two different visions on how to save the use. The public officials saw the future of the market as tied to the middle class. The friends of the market and Victor Steinbrook saw the future of the market as tied to the old neighborhood, which is gone. We've lost the old market in a lot of ways, but still vestiges and parts of it remain and are vitally important to this city and to the entire market. Places like the Athenian, which has reopened and has brought back the old customers, the old tables, and still with this marvelous vistas of Puget Sound and its old prices, where beer is still half price between eight and noon, and we should be thankful for that.